welcome dear managers all over the world my name is Torkanman and I welcome you to my channel top FM football manager tactics um, today I want to show you a little uh, thing about the special skills um, where for in which position it's the best special skill um, used First, we are starting with the defense in the central of our pitch. Um, the defenders should have three special skills which are very necessary or useful in this position. That's one's the shield, the second it's the interception and the third is the long pass. Yeah, the most powerful for uh, the defender is the shield. Um, it's very, very powerful against uh, good dribblings and also when you play man against man and in this game it's normally the case that you often play man against man in your defense, um, especially when the opponent is uh, coming with three strikers, you should try to take also three defenders against them play man against man. Next very interesting is the interception. The interception allows you to intercept the passes from the midfield to your strikers. Um, when we take the third and we have the long pass also for the defender. Um, it's very interesting because with long passes um, you have the chance to create a uh, fast, very, very, very um, good possibilities for your strikers because you pass the midfield very fast and mostly the opponent can't sort his, um, his players for the defense and so you can create some chances. Normally you, you can't create when, the, when, you have, when, when you are playing with short passes because short passes means it's... Uh, slow the, the, the match is going slow from your side it's more controlled and something like this yeah we come now to the defenders on the left side or the right side um, there i think it's very important to have the interception because sometimes when uh, opponent uh, changes his formation in the game to for example a free striker game um, you can make the the pitch close with your defenders from the outside and so it's really interesting when we have this possibility to intercept the passes um, that's the first uh, second um, it's very 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 cool when we have the speed along the sides um, so you can use a defender also for attacking on the sides and in the the relation with the with the banana flanks it's a very very cool because of these kind of flanks offers of many good uh, possibilities to score especially when your strikers have good heading abilities also useful in this position is the shield the short pass and also the long pass Next we take a look at the DMC. The DMC is very interesting also the interception because he's playing in front of the defense and then he should open the game. Open the game that means he should be able to make sure passes short also as long. And so these are my three favorites for this position. When you get a player with these skills, it's very, very successfully. And the second line also useful for a DMC is the shield and perhaps sometimes the long shot because um, a DMC um, is um, passing in front when you have, for example, a corner and I made many goals with uh, DMCs, I didn't uh, expect. Um, but when they have this one, it's okay, It's uh, you can take it. 
We continue with the midfielders in the center of the, the pitch. Um, there is also the interception very useful and also the shield when I want to play with a defender more defensively. Um, it's also possible to take him with a long pass. Um, that's uh, the reason when I gave him another special order. Um, that's also possible, but I will show you how it works in another in another episode and also for a midfielder in the center very interesting for his attacking skills is short pass dribbling or the long shot pretty cool is it when your mcs have a mixture of all of these skills uh, that allows you to be very flexible in the midfield and also to dominate this uh, sector Okay, now we want to have a look for the midfielders on the left side or the right side. Um, there is also very interesting the speed and the side, the dribbling and the banana flanks. And also very interesting when he is playing more offensive, the long shot or the coolness in front of the goal and uh, also very interesting when the midfielder should uh, play a little more defensively um, if he has the interception. These skills are also useful for your AML and your AMR. Um, perhaps you should uh, have a look more to the offensive skills for the AML and AMR and that was it. At last we have a look on our FC and our AMC, there it's really grateful when he has the dribbling, the um, coolness in front of the goal, the short passes and also the long distance shots. Um, the dribbling is very cool when he is entering in the 60 meters and he curves some uh, defenders and then he he made the, the goal and also like long shots when you have a player with a good long shot then he nailed the ball and the goal from 25 meters for example and now a little surprise for you mostly when you are playing with three strikers it's very interesting um, that's the speed on the side because when you are playing with three strikers and you have a striker with this skill on the outside left or right. He uses this skill very often and creates very often chances and also chances for your striker in the middle. When you have a striker in the middle which is very very good with the heading you make many scores. Now we have to talk about two skills we didn't show in the and on the pitch this moment it's one is the fighter and another is the free kick. The fighter is useful for all players but it's only used when you are behind. That means the opponent is leading in the game for example 1-0 and you have to look to equalize it. And the other thing is the free kick. The free kick is not a special symbol in the game. Um, you can normally see when he makes a free kick that um, you see the symbol of uh, a short pass or for example um, a long shot. The skills don't work for every player in the same way. For example here we have a defender. The defender has a special skill with dribbling and you can see the dribbling is only used in the dribbling zone. A defender is normally not in this zone and so he would not use this skill so if you train this skill it costs you a lot of uh, coins or energy packs but the effect is useless as a result you have some different zones on the pitch for example the long pass zone or for example the long shot zone and only the player in this zone use also this uh, this special skill and so it's not really necessary to train every skill a player has. Thank you very much for watching me. Um, give me your like and subscribe my channel. I will uh, try to give you more information uh, and also tactics to make you prepared for the future.
Thank you very much and bye bye your token one.